Hi, buddy. This is Mr. Folly. Whoops. And welcome to Podcast 5.1, where we're going to do a whole bunch of things. Distinguish between elements and compounds. List the names and forms of seven diatomic elements. Define and identify monatomic and polyatomic ions. Use the periodic table to determine the charge. So, by the way, we know how to do this one. We know how to do this one. And learn polyatomic ions. Uh oh, you got those uh, in class today. Use the periodic table to determine the names, forms of ions. You can almost do that. Classify compounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Name and write the formulas for ionic compounds, including ternary. And let's hop to it. So, ion versus not an ion. So, ions have charges. So, for example, hydrogen is an atom. H positive is an ion. H2O, no charge, not an ion, it's a molecule. Anions are negative. They're nonmetals. They're these guys. They have a charge of negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. Okay. And I hope you know that cations are positive. And they're metals except for hydrogen. So plus 1, plus 2, plus 3. And then these guys we'll get to, we'll get to learn about the metal ones. So remember, cats. Well, a lot of cats for Halloween have paws. So cat ions are positive oh, with one hand and little claws. No, maybe they're clausative. Distinguish between elements and compounds. Okay? Elements, only one type of atom. So that means it could be beryllium or it could be H2. Okay? So that's called an element even though there's two of them and they're diatomic. Compound, two or more types of atoms bonded together. So while F2 is an atom, HF is a compound. Atom, compound. Up an atom, up and at them. So hydrogen would be an atom. Iron by itself would be an atom. FeO would be a compound. Now notice all of these are chargeless. Notice no charge hanging around up here. Calcium carbonate compound, carbon dioxide compound, and N2 would be atom. Oh, tricky. Two things, but the same thing. Oh, clever, clever. There are seven diatomic elements. There they are. You've seen these before. They always pair up and alone. They're desperate for company. Like Robert, he thinks if he's all alone, he will always hang out with something, maybe even a bow tie. And this honk is here because the other way of showing it is honklebrief, which I personally like better. So, doot, doot, doot. Monatomic ions and their names. One atom with a charge. So if it's one atom with a charge, monatomic means one atom with a charge. Positive metals, the name is metal ion. So this is the magnesium ion. This is the potassium ion. That is the aluminum ion. And this would be the Def Leppard ion. Nonmetals are negative and end in eyed and sound good. And we kind of have heard these already from naming our um, covalently bonded things. This is simply sulfide, nitride, bromide, and, oh, it's positive. I almost tricked you. Sodium ion. Dink. Polyatomic ions. Many atoms with a charge. Now, it's not really many. Usually, it's just two or more. So let's give some examples. To name these, you have to memorize them. So this is a polyatomic ion. So it's many atoms, and we've learned a bunch of these, like carbonate. Notice this is not an ion. This is just, oh, I know how to name that. It's from last chapter. Carbon dioxide. And this would be zinc positive ion. Polyatomic ion rule. What is the poly? Oh, I ate more than I ate. Okay, so I gave you the list, and we talked about this in class. I ate more than I ate. So nitrate, NO3 negative, nitrite, NO2 negative, sulfate, SO4 negative two, sulfite, SO3 negative two, and I cut that slide to save. Oh no, I didn't. So notice, eight is one bigger than eight. 
sulfate is one bigger than sulfite. If there's a phosphite, and there is, it would be PO3 negative. Get out of, whoa, oh, oh. Ionic compound identification starts with a metal or ammonium, and then a nonmetal. Ammonium, look, there's one positive polyatomic ion. It's the only positive one. It's ammonium, not ammonia, ammonium. So it starts with a metal or ammonium, and then a nonmetal. It's a metal. Now remember, metals are on the left of the periodic table. Sodium's in group one. Potassium's in group one. This is in group, ooh, is it 14? It is group 14. Well, that's not 14. Group 14. So this is ionic, ionic, covalent. Oh, look, it starts with ammonium. That means it's ionic. This is in group 16, so it's a nonmetal, so it's covalent. This is, oh, it has a charge, not a compound, it's an ion. Ionic is a metal ion and a non-metal ion. Positives and negatives must balance, like the elephant. Oh, I see, sodium sulfide, Na. Now, on the periodic table, if you remember, I showed you what all the charges were. Sodium's in the first column, so it's plus one. And then we've got... One, two, three, four, five, six. And remember, we have plus one, plus two, plus three, zero, minus three, minus two, minus one, zero. So sodium's right here in the plus one, so it's Na plus one. Sulfide is right here, S minus two. Now, if I want these to balance, notice how it's plus one, minus two, I need another Na positive. So that means I would get Na2S. I don't leave those charges hanging around because they've canceled. Okay? Examples of ionic naming. So again, just plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, 0, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0. I hope you have your own periodic table out. Calcium bromide, calcium, bink, plus 2. Bromide, negative. I need an extra bromine, plus 2. I need to make it minus 2, so that's going to be CABR2. Aluminum oxide, aluminum, here it is. Al plus 3. Oxygen, oh. O minus 2. So right now I have more positives and negatives, so I'm going to add another O. Plus 3 minus 4. I need more positives. Now I can't add aluminum plus 1 because it's always plus 3. So I add Al plus 3. Plus 6 minus 4. I need another oxygen. Al2O3. Aluminum 2. O, 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 3. Magnesium oxide. Magnesium plus 2, O minus 2. Hey, it's balanced. Mago. CaCl2. Oh. Now notice all these are are the parts. Ca is calcium. Cl is a negative ion, so it's chlor, not chlorine, chloride. Aln. Al is aluminum, isn't it? Nice. The metal is just its name. And then N, make it sound evil, nitride. K2O, potassium. Get on some metals so I can just do this. Oxygen, oh, oxide. Okay, so it starts with a metal. You don't need prefixes. Naming ions with polyatomics. Now this takes into account that you know these, so you need your ion sheet out. So lead to acetate. Now lead is right here, and lead is in a weird spot where you'd think it might be zero, but we're smarter than that because we're going to be smarter than that in a minute. This two tells us the charge of lead. So that means lead is Pb plus two. Acetate from my sheet is C2H3O2 negative one. Now if I want, mm, 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 if I want to cancel this, I need another C2H3O2 negative one. So my answer is going to be Pb. C2, H3, O2. Now you may be tempted to just put a 2 here, but that would mean I have 22 O's. I don't want to have 22 O's, I want to have 2 acetates. So I put it in parentheses to show I have 2 of them. Clever, clever, clever. Magnesium. Magnesium is in the plus 2 column. Sulfate is SO4, 2 minus. There you go. 
Aluminum sulfite. Aluminum. Sulfite. Oh, that one's not on there. No. Uh, it's SO3 minus 2. Now I'm going to show you a little shortcut here. In order to balance, remember when I showed how you got to write all these things out? A shortcut is, if you notice, these charges, see how this is a 2? The 2 comes down here. This is a 1. The 1's here. Okay? So, it, remember, the goal is to make your charges cancel. If I do this, I would have Al2 SO3 taken three times. Okay? So, notice the charge here, the number, not the sign. It's not negative 2. And the number, not the sign, goes there. KOH, potassium, what, uh, oxygen, hydrogen? No, that is a polyatomic ion. You need to know. Let me introduce you to hydroxide. Roman metals, I used one already. Location on the periodic table. Roman metals are in this weird little spot right here. Okay, so that's where they are. They're in the middle. And what happens is we don't know their charge. So we tell you. Now, not every, like we never call lithium, lithium-1 ion, but we call lead, lead-4, because there's different ones. There's lead-4, and I earlier showed you lead-2. A reason for this, there were, there were two girls in my school named Amy Roberts. Now, they didn't look all that much alike, but everyone knew there was Amy Roberts, and there was Amy Roberts who had the, I'm not even joking, snaggly teeth. Now, we were awful in... Elkhart, Indiana, where it would be, oh, what are you doing tonight? Oh, I'm going to a movie with Amy Roberts. You couldn't just say Amy Roberts, said I'm going to a movie with Amy Roberts, the one with the snaggly teeth. And you had to say that. And as odd as that was, the Amy Roberts with the snaggly teeth was way more fun and happier than the Amy Roberts without the snaggly teeth. So you would have to say you, there was no such thing as Amy Roberts. It was Amy Roberts with the snaggly teeth or Amy Roberts without the snaggly teeth. So here, lead, which lead? Lead's in the Roman region, right? So I have to tell you that's lead 4. So PB is plus 4. Chloride, it ends in ide, so it's just chlorine with a negative 1. PB, Cl4. See how that crisscrossing thing works? Iron 2 oxide. Iron is Fe. And look, iron is right here. I don't know its charge. Oh, it's plus 2. Oxide is minus 2. Now here's where the crisscrossing can be a trick because we want them to equal, we want it to be just FeO. Now, if you did write Fe2O2, you need to go, oh, I need to reduce that. Boop. There you go. MnO. <gasps> P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Here's MnO. It's in the mystery range, so I know it's manganese. Manganese. I know O is oxide. Oxide but I don't know its charge. Now, I know oxygen is negative 2, so what must manganese be to cancel that charge? Dose. Fe2S3, iron. Oh, no, it's Roman. Iron something. S is sulfide. Now, I know from here, sulfide is in the negative 2 column. So if I have three negative 2s, that means together this is negative 6. So 2... Irons have to cancel negative 6, so it must be plus 3. Ding, ding, ding. And do you notice how uncrisscrossing works as well? So, FES changes it around a little bit. Notice how it's similar but different. S is negative 2. Iron would be plus 2. Iron dose sulfide. Why don't the 2 show up? Because they cancel. More Roman practice. I don't want any more Roman practice. I did enough. I want this podcast to end. Review. Yeah. So what I didn't do enough is play the crisscross song for you. Memorize those ions. I'd know the name of the negative and positive ions from the periodic table. Crisscross does not carry the sign. Oh, it doesn't carry the negative sign. <laughs> We're enclosed backwards is optional. And uh, why do we crisscross charges? We crisscross to cancel the charge. Hey, I think that's a pod quiz question. So I will say that. I will put my clothes on backwards for Halloween, and I will say t t t toodles. <laughs>